Sap and Summer. And not just because she treated them like absolute shite. I have no wind. But I have a pigeon. So I got that going for me. They were drawn by the rumor. Which is nice. happened to be absolutely true that she never slept with a man. So we're having a really slow day, but lots of wildlife. These guys have just been hanging out. And the pigeon is still here, pooping everywhere. He stayed even through a kite change. I can't believe it. I almost packed him in with the A2. Look, there's Ireland. I don't know if we are ever <laughs> gonna get there. Twelve more miles. This is pretty brutal. And my pigeon left. So I'm watching Desperate Housewives. I only have two more episodes left. Each episode only gets me a mile closer. <laughs> it got worse. I got a little closer. Look, there's Ireland. Look how much wind we have. <laughs> and that's our guy. It's just tide still setting us left to right. I hate to see what happens when it starts going back the other way. And it's after 9 p.m. I kind of want it to be around by now. So, eight miles to go. We'll get there. I'm making dinner. Spaghetti with meat sauce. Smells like SpaghettiOs. Yum! Why is it that it has to be like not enough wind or way too much? Well, I mean it's not way too much. It's going like 18 or 20 from right where I'm going to be going. Two reefs in the main, no reefs in the jib. Ugh. We're taking a hitch back in, back towards England, because I ended up really far to the west, mostly because this morning I fell asleep for like five hours when there was no wind, once I got away from all the Clipper ships. I don't know. There was all these square riggers that caught him It was very strange. So I, even after I got around the buoy, there was like three hours of sailing around all these like 80 foot things that weren't moving because there wasn't very much wind. And um, then finally I got free and clear of them and the breeze really, really died. So I set my alarm for like an hour woke up like five hours later just kind of like with the jib all chicken winged up and like the boat had tacked itself because the autopilot had just shut off because it wasn't there's no wind earlier and the maid was all hung up by the rudder and we were just kind of going like due west and had been for like ten miles. So <laughs> Now we're going west again. Uh, no. That's a lie. Now we're going east again to make up for all that west. And it's 
even sunny and because the tide's going right to left um, we're going really slowly we're doing like five knots over ground but it probably means that the slop will chill out and at least it will be mellow tonight going across the channel and I'm drying out the kite that I slept in last night because I had to be in my follies all night and so I was just sleeping under the kite. It's amazing how warm they are. And drying out a layer. On a dry layer. Maybe before those clouds get here. Two hours out of La Rochelle and I've been napping and drying things. You know it's raining again. And the seas mellowed out so much. But I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna still be a big swell for the next day. But it's the seventh at like 8:30, so I think we got all the way from Pemar to Rochebone in under 24 hours. Um, and the conditions going back north again should be pretty similar, so I'm hoping that we can get back up there in 24 hours and finish on the night. Which would be awesome. I'm kind of ready to like sleep for more than half an hour at a time. Although I must admit there have been a couple of times where, I don't know, I've like woken up three hours later. So it's always a little terrifying when you wake up from that, but touch wood, nothing bad has happened yet. So I'm just going to try to hang in there and finish this off without any incidents, any more incidents. I don't really have any major ones. Broke another shackle on a keel block. That's about it. Lost the nut for the bottom of the thingy that the autopilot sits on for the tiller pilot. Jury rigged something crazy. Went around the whole boat looking for fasteners to pull out with the same size nut. There aren't any. Oh well. Unfortunately, it's gonna rain, which sucks because I'm feeling very dry. But then we have to go all the way back down and turn left, and it'll be kite up, which is good and bad. Good because it will be dry and mellow, bad because there's only seven knots of reason, so it's gonna take forever. But it'll be okay. Should be there back in Lyon sometime, like, I don't know, maybe midnight, a little after midnight tonight. Because it's it's one twenty right now. Awesome. Goodbye. <laughs> Boat's all clean and dry. 
I'm dry, not clean. Having dinner. Louisiana red.